Step one, this is the ultimate, this is the ultimate any position we want to be in. In order to get here, when you uh, normally build a pump, that second side is, uh, is normally inverted the opposite way. So we'll, we'll mimic that, we'll get the pump back over to the same way. By doing that, we pressurize the exhaust side. That's going to push that diaphragm all the way to the down, which this is the position everybody here is more common with. Once it pulls it all the way down and shifts the spool, then what we got to do is come back to the air side, give it a brief puff till we change the location of the spool. Once it does that, then we go back to the exhaust side, hook up our vacuum generator to it. It doesn't take much. This vacuum generator is capable of doing about 10, 12 uh, inches of mercury. Once we do that, you'll see the diaphragm just lift up with no assistance other than vacuum required. Once that's done, you'll see the beads nice inside the bead groove. Didn't have to use any pry bars. Everything's done. And all we used was a one inch, a one inch uh, reducer with a quarter inch chuck, three quarter inch reducer with a, one inch, with a quarter inch chuck, and a vacuum generator. I made this one here in tooling and an air, and an air gun. You can purchase these through uh, McMaster Car. It's just a, a vacuum venturi or a vacuum generator. They run about $60. Uh, so you get, you know, I mean, these pieces are all common. You get that and you end up with this. No more hassles, no more fuss, no more fighting. This also works on wheel flex, works on any other diaphragms you have. So uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Thank you.